All right, now, we have a lot of things that we're gonna spend a, a little bit of our days on math-wise before we take our state test next week, okay? Time is one of those, because we haven't talked about it yet. Okay, you did the interactive practice on iReady, but I think that's about all the time that we've done so far. Okay, so when we're talking about time on a clock, which hand is the hour hand that says like it's 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock or, or whatever? Which one is the hour hand? The long one or the short one? Lucas? No, the hour hand is the short one. So that makes the long hand the minute. minute hand. Okay, so if I show you this time, what time does this clock say it is? Everybody, nine, nine o'clock, right? Because when, when the minute hand is up on the 12, that means it's saying o'clock. It's the whole hour, right? What time is it now? It's halfway around. The minute hand went halfway around. Is it still part of the nine o'clock hour? Yes. Yes, it is. So it is what time, Jenny? 9.30. Agree or disagree? Agree, it is 9.30, okay? Now, whoops, can't see what I'm doing. Now what time does our clock say? Amy? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. If the minute hand goes halfway around the clock, now it is, what Lucas? 10.30. 10.30. Okay, now, not all clocks have this, but do you see the, the numbers around it? The little numbers? Mm -hmm. What color are those little numbers in? Red or blue? The little ones, everybody. Blue. They're in blue, because that goes with the minute hand. Okay, now, like our clock on the wall doesn't have these little numbers around it, does it? Okay. Our clock on the wall has these bigger numbers though, doesn't it? Yeah. All right. And when we work our time around a clock, what can we skip count by from this number to this number, to this number, to this number? What is it skip counting by? Reese? Five. Fives. So now, what time does our clock say, everybody? Oh, 11 o'clock. What if I move it to here? 11 05. 11 10. I can't see where it's at for sure. 11 15. 11 20. 1125 It's a new hour, isn't it? Okay, so now it is 12 o'clock. What if I move it to that first dot up here? What time would that be? I know we're working on time to the nearest minute, or time to the minute. Raylan? 
No, it starts over. Once it gets up to the 60, it's almost like it switches to zeros. Have you ever see that, seen that on a digital clock? So when it switches to 12 o'clock, it's 12, zero, zero, right? For 12 o'clock. Because we don't say that it's 1160, do we? It switches to that new hour, 12 o'clock. So if I move it one space, what does it become? 12.01. Oh, oh, what time is this? 12 12.02. 12.03. 12.04. 12.05. What is it right here? 12.04. Oh, okay, hold on. Don't say anything out loud. Watch where I'm moving it to. It's one space after this one. So what time does our clock say now? Jenny? 12-11. 12-11. Watch where I move it to this time. What time does it say now? 12. 12. Here's 25, 26, 27, 28. So it is 12.28. Is it still part of the 12 o'clock hour? Yes. Mm -hmm. So now it is 12 what? 12.39, because it's 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Okay. It's not completely on the one yet, so it's not to the one o'clock hour. It's still part of the 12 o'clock hour. So it is 12 what, everybody? 52. 50, 51, 52. Now, is it 1260? No, it's a new hour. So what time is our clock saying? One o'clock. Have you ever heard someone say it's half past, like it's half past one? Have you heard that before? Do you know what they mean? If it's half past, what time do you think that means, Connor? That That would be like a quarter after. Half past, think about halfway around our clock. If it's half past one, what time would I need to show on our clock? What do you think, Lucas? One, two, three. Do you agree with him? Mm -hmm. Because if we started up here, this is halfway, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that means it's half past. It's half past one. If I said it's a half past three, what time would it be? 3.30. If I said it's a half past 11, what time would it be? 11.30. If it's a half past nine? 9.30. Okay, so just like when we talk about fractions, half past, so it's halfway. Some people break a clock into four equal parts. 
12, 3, 6, 9. Back at 12. Four parts. Quarters. If there's four parts, it's quartered, right? One quarter, one quarter, one quarter, one quarter. So when you had said like 115, that means it's a quarter after one because it's one fourth of the way around the clock. Seems weird that it's a quarter after, but it's on like the 15 minutes, doesn't it? So 15, 30, 45, and then up to 60. That equals that one whole hour. There's four parts. So it's a quarter after, half past, heard this one before when it's it's not three quarters past the hour anybody know what I might be thinking in my crazy little mind Amy Yes, though. Jenny? Quarter till. It's a quarter till. It's a quarter till what hour? Two. 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 Okay, so now what time is it? Two. Two o'clock. How could we say this? There's more than one way to say it. It is two fifteen, but it is also a quarter after two. Now it is 2.30 or half past two. Now it is 2.45 or a quarter till three. Have you heard those times before? Yeah. You probably hear adults saying, it's a quarter till or it's 20 till or it's 10 till. That means you can start saying, you could even say, how many minutes till three is it here? Count with me. Five, Five 10, minutes, 15, 15, 20, 25. 25. It's 25 minutes till three o'clock. How many minutes is it till three o'clock? Five, 10, 15, 20. 20 till three. What did we call this one? 15 till 3 or a quarter till 3 or it could be 3 or sorry 245 how many minutes till 3 5 10 now how many minutes till 3 5 okay all right so what time is it now 3 o'clock 3 o'clock Time am I showing you now? Three. Eight. Could we also say for this one? How many minutes till four? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Twenty minutes till four, or twenty till four. Three forty five. Three forty five. Or it could also be a quarter till. Four. Haley? 
Like the 10 minutes or the actual 10? Okay, I thought that's where you were looking. No, you wouldn't say that it's 50 minutes till 3. You would probably just say it's 10 after 2 or 2.10. Two because this means it's 10 minutes after 2 o'clock, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. On education.com, I assigned some time practice to you. So I want you to go ahead and get your Chromebook and for the next, let's see, we go to lunch at 11.35 on Fridays, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so for these next 15 minutes, you're gonna work on the time lessons on education.com for 15 minutes, okay? okay. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm.